it's Alyssa from RomeWise, your go-to guide to Rome, here today to show you how to go from the top of the Spanish Steps to Piazza Navona. This is a walk that's going to take us through part of the center of Rome, but there is actually a lot to see on the way. So you could turn this walk into a very short walk, a half day walk, even a whole day walk, depending on your pace and the different things that you want to see along the way. If you're new to my channel, Rome Wise is your go-to guide to Rome, here to bring you lots of things to see and do in Rome, secret spots, little hidden jewels, things to eat and drink, and just the best of Rome. So hit that like button and subscribe. All right, let's get this video started. We're starting at the top of the Spanish Steps. You can easily get here by Metro. There is a Metro stop and you just come straight up. There's an elevator or stairs that will bring you up here. Now you have this beautiful view out to Rome. One of the things you may want to do is head into the church of Trinita de Monti. It's a very simple, sweet little church, but there are a couple of beautiful paintings by Daniele da Volterra who was a colleague and friend of Michelangelo's. This is a short walk that will just give you a little bit of the lay of the land. This may be your first day in Rome, you just want to get a sense of the city, you just want to get a taste of what Rome is like. So this is the perfect walk for a first timer in Rome or a first day in Rome. One more thing, I think it goes without saying that you should be dressed very comfortably for this walk. You want to have on extremely comfortable walking shoes, comfortable cotton fabrics, make sure you layer because you just never know what the weather, and carry a backpack especially one that is pickpocket proof if you can. I love my on clouds. They are super lightweight. They're really, really comfortable. I can wear them all day and they're just a great thing to pack for a trip to Rome. Once you've come down the Spanish steps and have arrived here at the Barcaccia, this fountain, you are facing pretty much Rome's shopping center. got all the big name brands over here. I actually find it to be a little bit hectic and not all that charming. So I suggest going this way and making a little bit of a detour for just a little bit more of a charming street. We have arrived at one of my favorite piazzas in Rome, San Lorenzo in Lucina. This piazza is famous for being full of really, really high-end shops. It also has this beautiful ancient church behind me, San Lorenzo in Lucina, that you can visit. There's a stunning painting by Guido Reni of Jesus on the cross above the altar. It's amazing, so it's worth going in just to see that. And there is a uh, Bernini sculpture too inside of here as well. If this piazza seems like a good stopping point to grab something to eat or drink, well, there's a reason for that. This is actually one of the favorite spots for Romans to hang out and eat and drink. It's a kind of a see and be seen. This area of Rome is pretty posh and there are a lot of Romans that live in the area and this is sort of one of their hangout spots. So if you like to sit down and enjoy a coffee, a gelato, a sandwich, a beer, whatever, just know it will cost you. Sitting down at a cafe always costs more than standing up. If you wanna grab a gelato, this is one of the best spots to do so. Ciampini, it's on my top 10 best gelato in Rome. So this is a spot for gelato. It'll be cheaper if you get it to go. While the walk may have seemed a little bit cir circuitous, if that's the right word, uh, but we are closing in on the Pantheon. It's just around this corner. I want to show you how beautiful it is to approach it from this point of view because it's what I like to call the canyon shots, like you're coming down a canyon and there it looms. So let's get ready to see the Pantheon. Guys, since COVID, um, <laughs> 
it is now really, 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 uh, there's a long line to get into the Pantheon. The best thing you can do is actually come on a weekend when you must book in advance. On the weekends, you're required to book in advance. So when you book, you at least know that you have a spot. Right now, we have this crazy queue. Um, it actually moves pretty quickly, but it's, yeah. You have to decide if you want to wait in this line. It is absolutely worth going inside the Pantheon, but yeah, it's a pretty big line. You guys, from here, Piazza Navona is very close by. There are actually quite a lot of churches and amazing things to see right in this neighborhood. So if you have time, you can take some detours and see a couple of these churches. From here, we're just going to walk straight over to Piazza Navona. But honestly, this is one part where I can't help but take you on a very short detour, even if I said we were going to go straight ahead. And as we turn this corner, you have this beautiful church up here by Borromini called Santivo. Right here in this piazza, you've got some of my favorite pizza in Rome, some of my favorite gelato in Rome, and some of my favorite coffee in Rome. So take your pick. Leaving Piazza Santo Stacchio, we are going to head right over to Piazza Navona. All right, this is it. This is the entrance to Piazza Navona. It's one of many. We have made it. We are here at Piazza Navona. We've walked from the top of the Spanish Steps through some shopping streets uh, into Piazza San Lorenzo Muschina, past the Pantheon, and we made it here. It's about a 20 or 30 minute walk if you don't stop. Obviously, you can do lots of stops. I kept this walk simple and straightforward for a reason. This video is just to give you a little taste of Rome, the center of Rome. It's your first day. You just want to get a sense of the lay of the land a little bit before you dive into that really heavy sightseeing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you guys at the next one. Ciao for now.